united by faith, diverse in nationalities and languages, these pilgrims come together in a powerful display of religious devotion. <laughs> Sprinklers continuously missed. Workers assist the needy to connect with the Almighty. Immersed in prayers, this African pilgrim from Ghana is worried about the bloodshed in the world and is here to pray for peace. We are praying for peace everywhere in the world. We are praying for peace everywhere in the world. Nigeria, Ghana, everywhere we are praying for peace. America, London, Ukraine, we are praying for peace. For these Nigerians, they are amazed by the newly introduced Nusuk card, which made their Hajj a lot easier. Actually, people that have been here before the, news, the Nusuk card, they, they, they encounter a lot of difficulties, I think, from what they said. But Nusuk card allows us to go to the uh, router, it's easy. If you have the Nusuk card, when you present it, they'll give you time to come to the router, it's good. And for the made it is very, very easy for us to enter. So you don't have any problem. They tell you that uh, two hours before the entry time, you understand? Your QR code, that's what I mean. Your QR code will come out. When the QR will come out, they will not snap with their whole system. When the service is so degree, they will allow you to enter. Just for uh, uh, Meanwhile, the National Hajj Commission organized a prayer for Nigeria, and it's done in Igbo, Hausa, and Yoruba. The chairman of the commission is amazed by the Saudis' use of technology, especially the Nasub card, to prevent illegal pilgrims. If we're talking about last year or year before last, you would have been seeing faces that were not eligible to be here, who must have infiltrated and gotten their way in here. But with some of the technologies, you can't come in here unless you are a pilgrim, and a genuine pilgrim for that matter. The mass gathering at Mount Arafat symbolizes the unity and spiritual devotion of millions of pilgrims, highlighting the significance of the Hajj in the lives of Muslims worldwide. Sadiq Ilyasu, Channel's Television News.